during my daughter's closing day back in August, we got the opportunity to see her perform. I was an emotional wreck because when did she become old enough to be performing anything, let alone poems, in front of so many people? So I remember when the first kids started coming on stage, I was I was crying. I was crying, um, which I think was all right because by the time my daughter was now coming onto the stage, I was a little bit more emotionally sound. Or at least I hoped I would be. Her class is made up of three to five year olds, like little human beings. So the teacher had to be on stage to like line them up to their position and everything like that. And that's when this beautiful little girl took the microphone. Um, she went, walked up in front of her classmates and just started talking. Right. At first, I thought it was a mic check and it was the cutest mic check ever. And we were all pretty, you know, um, we were laughing about it as we were trying to organize themselves. But I could see the teachers were a little bit uneasy. And then that's when it hit us. Um, clearly, she just loved the sound of her own voice. So throughout the entire performance, she just kept coming up in front of the mic to speak, to sing. And um, by the time they were done, they she again came back in front of the mic to say thank you um and i could see my daughter like think about it too like to go <laughs> on um in front of the mic but the teacher said ushering them out uh, and that was not the end of our beautiful little mic lover um by the time the next class was coming to perform she ran back onto the stage and took the mic i couldn't help but wonder is that how it have been if someone gave me a mic when i was a child Oh man, I love, I love, love my microphone. I love my microphone because of the power that it gives me. It amplifies my voice, not just as me, but as a mom and as a young African woman trying to navigate life. I had to put away the mic for quite a while and it was one of the hardest things that I have ever had to do this year. Um, and the longer it stayed away, the more doubt kept crippling in and I found myself just terrified of this thing but no longer all of this to say that mama tills is back and with this return i am excited to reintroduce you to mama tills if you've been here from the very beginning i salute you you are the ogs i appreciate you every time and if this is your first time interacting with this podcast karibu karibu sana i appreciate you taking the time and your energy and your attention to look at this, to listen to this. Um, I hope that you'll find a sense of community and relatability on this podcast. Mama Tills is a space where we share the unfiltered, raw, and beautiful chaos that comes with parenting. And I think the time away was fantastic because it allowed me to think about the next step of this podcast. And I am excited to introduce you guys to a brand new mini series inside Mama Tales called Raising Tiny Humans. Whether you're navigating the newborn stage, feisty toddlers, or dealing with the first day your child is on stage at school, Raising Tiny Humans is here to provide practical, relatable advice, tips and tricks, and hopefully some laughter along the way. New episodes will be coming out every other week. And again, I will appeal to you that this is just not my space. This is our space. I would love to see it continue being this community-driven organism that it is. So if you have a story to share, if you have a question to ask, if you have a topic that you'd like me to explore, please do share that with me. You can let me know wherever it is that you're watching or listening to this. Um, and if you haven't already, please do subscribe to the newsletter. I'm back to writing that another place that I love. Um, remember that that is also still open to contributors. So if you have something that you want to share on the newsletter, niambie. Oh man, I'm so happy. See you with a new episode in about a week.